This guy looks toast. We just had a pretty good hunt here. We started with uh, a time to start shooting of 6.55 and we just finished a couple of minutes ago and it's uh, 8.55, so limited out in two hours. The uh, spread you see out here is uh, basically broken up family groups with a good landing area in the middle. When we arrived, we noticed that there were uh, a couple of recesses. <laughs> Look! That's hilarious. <laughs> well, that's another suicider. We had this last week. My brother actually shot a goose just like this. Now, we've limited out, so we can't legally take him, but I mean, this would be a prime situation to shoot that bird. That's insane, he's actually landed. So obviously our family groups have worked, they've broken up well, they're a nice spread that the, the geese find appealing. When we first arrived, we found these two ruts in the field, shifted our spreads maybe uh, 60 meters to the left as you see it in the camera managed to keep pretty well concealed uh, we had only two or three flocks that uh, wouldn't come in on the decoys it's been a very good day and now we got our live decoy out here <laughs> marching on to tell us uh, how good that family group looks all right well we'll see you next time bird Yep, here's a shot of the spread on the right side. We're using uh, full body and very high quality shell decoys too because we find the birds are very suspicious. And uh, so the better your decoys, the more likely uh, you're going to get them to come close enough because uh, here, here, as you can see right in the middle, there's an open landing zone, the kill zone. It's right in front of our, our layout blinds. And uh, so we had the geese, flocks decoying and landing, were coming to land right in, in that kill zone, which made for quick, clean kills. So, yeah, it's been a wonderful morning. <laughs>